On October 13th, 2013, after an open beta phase, Path of Exile was released for PC. That is almost 11 years ago. Now, this game may seem long in the tooth, but it has maintained a steady player base. It has always been considered one of the best ARPGs and just 24 days ago reached its peak concurrent player count. Now, some would argue that we are in the golden age of ARPGs with many new releases, which we're gonna discuss shortly. Yet, in the face of growing competition, and a global player base becoming more and more critical with games, PoE somehow continues to capture a steady flow of players. In this video, we're gonna discuss this amazing feat and what sets this studio apart from its competitors. Now, before we get into that, a lot of you continue to watch my content, but yet do not subscribe to my channel. If you can find it in your heart, to hit that subscription button. I would really appreciate the support of my content. Now, let's get into how Grinding Gear Games continues to capture the hearts of, of many players. Over the life of Path of Exile, there has been a massive amount of ARPGs that have come into this space. And there are too many to mention, but some that I will highlight and I'm gonna to refer to the ones in the last year or so, uh, and some older actually, but in the light of all this competition, how the heck does Path of Exile continue to maintain a healthy player base? And like I stated in my opening, opening monologue, sorry, they hit their peak concurrent player count of almost 230,000 players in July. How did they do that in the in, in the face of all this competition? Lost Ark, Titan Quest, Grim Dawn, and more recently, Diablo franchise, Last Epoch. How how were they doing this with all these new games coming out? You know, Path of Exile always gets this rap or one of the wraps it gets outside of it being very difficult, high learning curve. And probably the one that's probably right below that is that graphically it's inferior to most of the games that are coming out. And, and of course, why, you know, that's going to make sense. Uh, the game was released 11 years ago, almost 11 years ago. So obviously the newer games graphically graphically are going to be superior so with all these new games with all this competition they continue to like i said keep a healthy player count and it's no surprise that this studio grinding gear games is a major part of that and with all this competition and a lot of these games have seen tremendous success. Now, the, every game goes through its ups and downs. And some of the games that I've mentioned are going through that. And I'll speak specifically about Diablo and the Last Epoch franchise. And that is the fact that both games basically follow the same model where it's a live service every three months. For PoE, it's a league. For the Diablo franchise, it's a season. And for Last Epoch, it's a cycle. And every three to four months, they produce new content. And specifically, Diablo has seen its ups and downs, more downs than ups. And they have their first major expansion coming in October. So we'll see the impact that has on Path of Exile and potentially Path of Exile 2, which we'll get into later. And then Last Epoch, a new player, a smaller studio, an indie studio that released Last Epoch, its first cycle, and now it's on its second cycle. And again, up and down with the player base, seeing 
huge amounts of success with the release of their new content and then basically eroding player base when it doesn't hit the mark. And that's specifically true for both games that I just mentioned, Diablo franchise and Last Epoch. But Path of Exile, almost 11 years old, continues to hit the mark and maintain a steady player base. Let's get into what I feel are the reasons why Path of Exile continues to be a dominant player in the ARPG space. Like I said, PoE launched back in 2013, and over the years, it has grown into one of the most popular ARPGs out there. But unlike many other games that fizzle out after a few years, PoE is not only maintained, but grown its player base. What's the secret? It's a combination of several key factors that keep players coming back for more. First off, let's talk about content. GGG, the developers of PoE, have mastered the art of keeping the game fresh with frequent updates. Every three to four months, PoE introduces a new league, which is essentially a fresh gameplay experience. These leagues often come with new mechanics, items, and challenges that keep the gameplay engaging. And there is no greater example than the current League 3.25 Settlers of Kalgor, which introduced a lot of new mechanics. This regular injection of content ensures that players always have something new to explore. Whether it's the complexity of Delirium League, the strategic depth of Harvest, or the chaotic fun of Ultimatum, each league offers something unique. And the best part? These updates are free, making it easy for players to jump back in without any financial barrier. Another reason PoE continues to thrive is its incredibly deep and complex gameplay. It's known for its intricate skill tree, endless build possibilities, and complex item crafting systems. This depth provides players with an enormous amount of freedom to customize their characters and play the way they want. It's like a sandbox for ARPG fans, where creativity and experimentation are rewarded. The complexity might seem intimidating at first, but it's this very depth that keeps players invested. There's always something new to learn and a new build to try or a new challenge to overcome. PoE success isn't just about the game itself. It's also about the community and the developers who support it. The PoE community is incredibly active with countless guides, forums, and content creators dedicated to the game. Whether you're a new player looking for tips or a veteran theory crafter, there's a wealth of resources available. On top of that, Grinding Gear Games maintains a strong relationship with the community. They regularly interact with players through forums, social media, and live streams, listening to feedback and making adjustments based on player input. This transparency and engagement builds trust and loyalty among players. Now let's talk about something that often makes or breaks a game, its monetization model. PoE is free to play, but unlike many games with this model, it avoids pay to win pitfalls. The game's microtransactions are focused on cosmetics and convenience, such as extra stash tabs. This approach ensures that all players, whether they spend money or not, have the same chance to succeed in the game. This ethical monetization model has garnered respect from the community and has helped sustain the game's development without alienating players. With all these factors in play, it's no wonder PoE continues to attract a healthy player base. But what about the future? Grinding Gear Games isn't slowing down with the upcoming release of Path of Exile 2, which promises to evolve the game while maintaining everything players love about the original. The future looks bright for this ARPG power House. Path of Exile 2 will introduce new story campaigns, classes, and improved graphics, all while being fully integrated with the original game. So there you have it, the key reasons why PoE continues to attract and maintain a healthy player base. From frequent content updates and complex gameplay to strong community engagement and ethical monetization, PoE continues to set a high bar for ARPGs. And if you're already a player, let me know in the comments what keeps you hooked on the game. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more gaming content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.
The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.